Hey, you. That was a long piss. You could have just told me you were taking a number two. I am a very accepting guy. I was not doing. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I was contemplating. Damn it. I was contemplating about why I fibbed to you a little bit. Why I seriously fibbed to you. <laughs> um, about the kind of person that I am. I knew you were fibbing. Yeah, we're really awful at this. Not bad. Then why were you talking to me? It was cute. Ah. Okay, well, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't hear you just say that my lying was cute because that is counterintuitive and confuses me. But if you would still like to hang out sometime, I think that's me asking you if you wanna hang out sometime. I'm not interested. Ah, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, I thought you were just flirting. Never mind. Holy shit! Is that Ken, the guy from the bar the other night? I don't know, I wasn't there. Oh, that's right. Wait a second. Is he with Chlamydia Chris? The one who shot you down? No, I never hit on Chlamydia Chris. Ken! Oh, yes, yeah, he's the... Hey. 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 Sorry, I rushed off earlier. I, I saw someone going for the last mini taco. I didn't make it in then. Oh. Oh, you're such a genius. This is my little genius. Well, you know, he got an A in, in science. And I was did. In school. Mommy, mommy, mommy. So here, here, you go, here you go, make us drink. Uh-oh. Yes. Uh-oh. I am sorry. I am so, so sorry. I should be thanking you for the most unexpected first date I've ever had. Okay, then you're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, girl, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. You holding up? I'm okay? good. Yeah. yeah. I just really wish we were alone right now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Maybe later. Okay. <laughs> Looking king, sitting in the tree. Hey, I guess it's time to No, that is not how a first date should go. No. At least the first part, anyway. You wanna come upstairs? I mean, it's okay if not. I just, I mean, after everything, I, I don't know where you are and. Nowhere. There's a parking space back there. You you here with friends? Yeah, but they're all over there doing their their thing. So, are these the frat guys? <laughs> yeah, but you know, they're wasted. So, hey Ken, who is this? This is Brooke. Is this the guy you did? This is the dude you did. <laughs> it's just some some guy I know from around town. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, can I get you a drink? I uh, no no no. I'm good. I'm sad. Thanks. Brooke. Oh my God. Listen. I'm so sorry. I. I. Look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I. Because you deserve it, and because I've been an asshole lately, and, and I don't want to be a liar too. My. My frat brothers, they got this like decade long bro code where we did, were dating the hottest girls or, or, or guys in my case. And, and I don't know, I, and to be honest, I've only dated really like guys that look like porn stars. And you are beautiful. The beautiful that they can't see. And, and, and when you showed up like that, and it, it, I, I got nervous and, and, and it was stupid. I told them that they were being stupid and that I'm dating you and that you are fucking awesome. I'm, I am sorry. I'm trying and I'm sorry. You 
say something like I don't have anything to say. It's fine. But your bro code sucks. You know that, right? That's actually your bro code. About dating hot people. A bro code is supposed to be about being a good man. About having fun, about taking care of the people who you love, not about being a douchebag. Your bro code is awful, Ken. Your bro code sucks. It sucks a big fucking bag of dicks. There, I said something, okay? I really don't like getting hurt, Ken. I don't really like being made to feel ugly or stupid. So you're just gonna run away from me? I could stay with you, it could be great, but I'm always gonna have this deep-rooted fear in the back of my head that you're gonna hurt me again. Or I can go off, I can meet somebody else, I could see them, and it'll be great. And you know what, I won't have that deep-rooted fear that they're gonna hurt me. I think you're just gonna have that fear anyway. With a much lower probability of it coming true with somebody else. Just have to be analyzed like some sort of, like you're a scientist? I am a scientist. I failed science. How on earth did you get into college? Football scholarship. See, even social stereotypes dictate that we should be studying.